We live in an era where the line between science fiction and reality blurs daily. At the heart of this transformation is artificial intelligence, a field not just reshaping our world but redefining the very essence of human experiences. Today, we will be exploring Gemini. What is Gemini? Gemini is the Google's new AI released about two weeks before, which is way more powerful as compared to any other AI released before. Gemini is first AI model to outperform human experts on MMLU massive multitask language understanding which is one of the most popular method to test the knowledge and problem solving abilities of AI models. When Gemini Ultra is compared with Chat GPT4, Gemini Ultra is performing 90% better as compared to Chat GPT4. Gemini and ChatGPT4 model both generate text and code. Based on that, when both are compared, Gemini still perform better than ChatGPT4. And when multi-model capabilities are compared, Gemini still perform better as compared to ChatGPT4 model. The multi-models are created by stitching together text, vision, and audio models in suboptimal way at secondary stages. Gemini is multi-model, so it seamlessly do conversation across different modalities to give you the best response as possible. Gemini is most intelligent and capable model, which seem like human beings understand the world around us and can take any type of input, not just text as every other models do, but it tags text, code, audio, image and videos too. Gemini is available in three different sizes. Gemini Ultra, which is most capable and largest model for complex tasks. Gemini Pro is also capable and can be used for range of complex tasks. And lastly, Gemini Nano is also an efficient model for on-device tasks. Now let's see Gemini's reasoning about user intent to generate bespoke user experiences. In the following example clip, Gemini was asked, the ideas for birthday party for his daughter and Gemini answered with what she is interested in and then again asked she like animals and we are planning something outdoors. This time the Gemini answered with gathering relevant images and the text too in very good user interface to help with the birthday idea. The user interface is even interactive with the details written below the images. Gemini uses the series of reasoning steps to respond that way to the user. You can explore these steps from the video of the Google link in the video description. Gemini also has the ability to convert images to code. The specific part was selected and were asked to convert this image to SVG. It's generating and here we go, it's converted into SVG. And you can see on top of the image preview and the code. Now another prompt was given to turn the image into interactive HTML JavaScript along with demo. So the Gemini says to do this task, a common algorithm will be used, which is the fractal tree, which includes recursively splitting the branches. And the result is here, a slider to change the fractals and the code on top of the image. That's amazing, right? Gemini is really a groundbreaking latest AI, which is also more powerful as compared to the ChatGPT4 latest model of the open AI. Next, Gemini can also recognize voices and can respond to you in voice accordingly. Let's look at an example. How to pronounce the word Lunar January in Chinese? Option A, Zheng Yue. Option B, Zheng Yue. Which one is correct? Which tone is the correct tone for the first character? Option A, the first character is pronounced with the first tone. That's amazing. Now let's look at one more example where there are more than two speakers speaking and let's see how the Gemini deal with this. Alors Pierre, quelles sont les couleurs incontournables de la saison Eh bien Marc, cette saison, le jaune canari et le rouge écarlate sont à la mode, mais le bleu nuit est out. Hi Gemini, I don't understand this podcast. Can you please summarize it for me in English The podcast is about the colors that are in fashion this season. The colors that are in fashion this season are canary yellow and scarlet red. The color that is not in fashion this season is night blue. Gemini is that capable model to sense like humans to understand who is speaking and asking for what and what I have to answer in that particular time. And the final example that we are going to look at right now will lift you speechless. What's the first step to make a veggie omelette with these ingredients? 
Crack the eggs into a bowl and whisk them. Thank you for the instructions. I've started making my omelet. Does it look ready now? It looks like it's almost ready. You can flip it over to cook the other side. Why is it not ready? It's not ready because the eggs are still running. What about now? It looks ready now. You can take it off the heat and serve it. Here, Gemini is able to simultaneously process information from three modalities, text, vision, and audio. This will become even more powerful as it receives more audio records of the different tasks. Google Gemini also provides APIs to enable developers to build mobile and web applications. You will find the APIs in the website ai.google.dev or I will also give the link in the video description. Currently the Gemini interface for the tasks look like this and you can configure this and can give prompt of whatever you want and can provide images too. At the end, to become a highly paid Flutter developer in the market, start watching our 7 weeks of Flutter and Fire Best Developer Bootcamp where I am providing advanced stuff and demanding nothing in return. It's totally free. Head on over to the link in the video description. And to learn more about Google Gemini, I will also share the relevant links in the video description. So that's all. Thanks for watching and I would love to see your thoughts about the latest groundbreaking AI which is Google Gemini.